Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Starting Line. I'm your host, Sarah Allen. The Minnesota House of Representatives was a happening place this week as Minnesota Management and Budget released the February forecast showing a projected budget deficit of $627 million. It's an improvement over the November budget forecast, which showed a projected budget deficit of $1.1 billion. While the nation's economic recovery is slower than anyone would like, Minnesota out, is outperforming most other states and the national average. Meanwhile, a steady stream of bills continue to be heard in House committees. This week's starting line looks at a policy bill designed to give parents and guardians more control over what surveys their children or dependents take in school. We sit down with the bill's sponsor, Representative Mary Liz Holberg, to learn more about the bill and how it originated. Holberg, a homemaker from Lakeville, is serving her eighth term in the Minnesota House of Representatives. Thank you, Representative Holberg, for sitting down and talking to us about your bill, House File 464. And to start off, can you explain just what this bill would do? Basically, what it would do is it would require school districts to obtain permission from parents before they asked sensitive information from students, whether it be in a formal survey or part of a class project. We have uh, dozens of protections uh, for these data sets as we operate um, in other areas of state government, and I think people would be appalled at the information that our students are asked to provide. In the past, um, there are like some public health studies surveys that are done where they ask questions about drug use and behavior, uh, uh, sexual behavior that are administered uh, a couple times um, during a student's uh, time in school that are mm -hmm. used for statewide um, measures uh, to track drug use, et cetera. How did the idea for this bill come about? Well, I've had this uh, bill for a number of years. I, uh, unfortunately, my children in school were asked things by their teachers that were really none of their teachers' businesses. And, and in fact, in some cases, um, it had political uh, motivations. And I, of course, was able to teach my children to uh, make sure that the things that uh, were none of anybody's business were not uh, mm -hmm. disclosed. We were highly aware of the situation, uh, but most people are not. Do you think you would care as much if you weren't a parent? Probably, <laughs> because I care about the issue of privacy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. work really hard on a number of levels to make sure that information that government collects about individuals is only limited to an important purpose and need and that we don't collect or ask for anything more than that. What are the hurdles for getting your bill passed? I think they're pretty big. We always get a lot of resistance from the teachers union. They don't want mm -hmm. uh, to be constrained in what they can ask of students and the public health folks, of course, like the information that they get from their surveys as well. How many times have you sponsored this bill? Maybe three or four, I'm not sure. Why do you keep on sponsoring the bill then? Well, I think it's good to have the discussion and raise the awareness. Um, eventually, maybe people will see that there's some need for some limitations on what information we collect from our students. Thank you, Representative Holberg, for sitting down and talking to us about your bill. Let's track House File 464 through the legislative process. It's had its introduction and first reading. It was referred to the House Education Policy Committee and we're going to have to wait and see what's in store for the future of this bill. You can learn more about these bills and others through our online news service, Session Daily. This nonpartisan news source employs a staff of professional writers, editors, and photographers that provide you with in-depth coverage of the Minnesota House of Representatives. You can also watch live coverage of committee and floor action on House TV. To see past bills featured on Starting Line, go to www.youtube.com backslash 
MN House Info and click on the Starting Line playlist. Remember, thousands of bills get introduced every legislative session in Minnesota. All of them first have to cross the starting line.